dim light of early morning, perhaps also in the dim light between peace and war, the King returns to London. A few hours later, His Majesty holds a privy council, while hour by hour the tension grows all over the world. Just before lunch, Mr. Chamberlain returns from an audience with the King, and in the afternoon, Parliament assembles to write a new page in its long history. There has never been a doubt that every British citizen would play his part. London prepares its defences against attack from the air. It is now the duty of every citizen to know what to do should an air raid come. Do you know the warning signals? To remind you, we repeat them, but softly. To avoid alarming anyone who might hear them outside this theatre. All clear. Have you got your gas mask? For yourself and your children. It was all they talked about. Getting ready for war. But nothing ever happened. It was all words and no action. Hop along Cassidy, on the other hand. Now that was the real thing. Sunday, the 3rd of September, 1939. Everyone who is old enough and was there remembers exactly what they were doing at that moment. I had just gunned down a couple of rustlers. And then I slipped back a few centuries and I was riding through an enchanted forest. The magician Merlin suddenly appeared before me and my horse reared up in terror. Then something even more extraordinary happened. All the Sunday morning lawnmowers suddenly stopped. This is London. You will now hear a statement by the Prime Minister. I am speaking to you from the Cabinet Room at 10 Downing Street. This morning, the British Ambassador in Berlin handed the German government a final note, stating that unless we heard from them by 11 o'clock, that they were prepared at once to withdraw their troops from Poland, a state of war would exist between us. I have to tell you now that no such undertaking has been received, and that consequently this country is at war with Germany. His action shows convincing. Stop that, Sue! She just sings it. She doesn't even know what it means. Where are my stockings? I can't find my stockings! Your pet have started roaring. Oh, have they? It's not my fault. I still need my stockings, don't I? I don't want to hear about your stockings! It's the all clear. Oh. Testing. They were just testing. We all expected to be bombed right away, but nothing happened for ages. It was a perfect summer's morning, and everyone said, Fancy starting a war on such a beautiful day. Such a beautiful day. A few lawnmowers started up again, but they didn't ring true somehow. Nothing would ever be the same again. Are you going to give me a hand, Mac, or not? Dad, it's full of water again. Oh, blast. Oh, comes up through the clay. You should have sealed it off with hot pitch, Smiler. You know, corked it like the hull of a ship. It's not fair on them. It's selfish to keep them with you. You remember that aunt I told you about in Australia? <laughs> well, she has offered to have them. Snap it up. Great chance for him. I mean, a lot more future out there. So far away. I couldn't bear it. <laughs> Building aero shelters is hungry work, Grace. 
Well, a few bombs might wake up this country. <laughs> <laughs> Take more than a few bombs to wake up dawn on a Sunday morning. This phony war gets on my nerves. Morning. Mama, if we're going to have a war, I wish they'd get it started. Now, now, dawn. Just ignore her, Maggie. Well, this waiting oh. about's getting us all oh. down. We'll have to wait about ten minutes for lunch. Still oh, remember your drill, Mac. Oh, no. there you are. <laughs> up, two, three, dash. You see oh, that? Oh, prisoner The moth hasn't got his <laughs> head. <laughs> You kept the old Sam Brown all these years, my love. <laughs> Certainly. Kept it and kept it polished. <laughs> Might come in useful. Steady, steady. Having received these messages, Commissioner, I have formed an administration of men and women of every party and of almost every point of view. Now one bond unites us all. To wage war until victory is won. And never to surrender ourselves to servitude and shame. Come on. Whatever the cost. Come on. And the agony may be. <laughs> Bloody Jim! No! Oh, this makes me cry! Couple of cross wires. She only weeps when she's happy. Oh, stop it, Molly. Stop me on that. No, Grace, Grace, Grace. It's duty, Meg. <laughs> It's her duty. For a mug, Clive, we did our bit in the last lot. King and country, Cormac. You'll go as soon as I will. What did we know? A couple of kids, 17. I heard the drum and fife yesterday, Mac. Marching past. Made my hair stand around. There we go. There we go, Marple. We've been asleep for 20 years. I go to hell. Come on. Good night, Molly. Good night. Do you know what time it is? Go to bed this minute. Don't worry, Sue. We're not going to be like them when we grow up. We're not even like them now. squelching with mud and lined right away over the plain to the far skyline with the inevitable double row of poplars. A few lorries only are splashing by to and from the forward areas. But coming down the road towards us is a battalion that I know to be of a famous Irish regiment. They're marching in threes, and in their full battle dress and kit, they blend with the dripping green grass of the roadside the brown and the brown I rode into battle with a drawn sword against the Turks. Don't be a man. We did our bit in the last lot. Don't I be a man. I heard the fight yesterday, man. Consequently, marching past this country made my hair smell. What have you know? We've got a couple of kids of 17. I fought against the Turks. Your place is for grace and the king. The city's against artillery. Until victory is won. Stop! I'm so smashing to see you, old boy. Thank you. You take care of yourself. I'll see you. Take care. Thank you. Hello, kids. Oh, sorry, kids. I joined up. Woo! Needed some Dutch curries to tell your mother. Never say die. Steady the bab! Up the arsenal! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Daddy, you shot his hand in the door. Silly beggar! Oh. We're trying to win a war and you start off by shutting your fingers in the car door! Uh, my hand. Sorry. That's it. For the duration. Pop in and give her a polish, Billy boy. Just now and then. A car needs to be cherished. Has Sue got it right? What's that? You joined up. Oh, that! I wish you could have told me yourself. Oh, Grace, it's not for long. <laughs> they say it'll be over by Christmas. Hey. No, no leave. No, I don't want to. <laughs> 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 don't be dumb! That's your egg! <laughs> I can't cope on my own. I'd better let the children go. Oh, nice catch, Billy. Before I go, there's something I want to tell you. You're not quite old enough, but... Well... It's the googly. Your hand is too small to master it. You can make a start. Anyway, I'm going to pass on the secret now, father to son, in case... in case anything happens to me. Right? Now, you know the leg break, right? And the off break. Now, the googly looks like a leg break, but it's really an off break. Got it? Like this. That's like telling fibs. <laughs> That's it. Because when you tell a lie, you want to get away with it. But when someone else does, you want to find them out. Now, a good batsman will spot a googly a good bowler will hide it. Always remember that, son. Bye, Grace. Oh, Grace. Oh, taps running. Let's go. Be good. Bye, bye, Daddy. Bye, Dawn. Take care, Susie. Bye, Billy. Billy. Goodbye, Billy. Billy! Don't forget what I told you. Should be no problem, sir. Time to go. Oh, let's see the ball. Oh. Here is a special announcement. Parents bringing children to the fourth year station of Oak Tree, New Southampton, are asked to leave their children at the barrier to platform nine. We regret that no parents can be allowed onto the platform. 
please Point leave back, please. your children at the barrier and ensure that they carry the correct labels for their destination. Thank you. Australia, say goodbye and pass them through. All right, Bill. Well, won't be long, darling. Won't be long, Susie. Here, take your case, Bill. Thank you. Thank Bye, you. Susie. I'll see you soon. From. I'm gonna miss the war, and it's all your fault. Parents may not go beyond the barrier. Come on through. Let's have a look at your label. I can't do it. What's the point? Let me through. I want my father. No one goes in there. You signed the forms, didn't you? Yes, I did. Now I want them back. Come on. They're very lucky to have got a place at all. German came into the house. Oh, don't, don't be so silly. Well, why do you always bring the carving knife in here? Well, you never know. Shh. Listen. Footsteps. It's getting closer. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> it's all right. He's only teasing, pet. <laughs> Flack. Oh! <laughs> 
think it's safe. Have you got your sandwiches? Now, Billy, kick the pavement and don't dawdle. Off you go. Bye, Mum. Bye bye, doll. Could have been us, even. That's right. There's so much shrapnel. I'm so sorry, Peggy. Let's join with us and have some breakfast. from the right. Late. Why study before prayers? Eyes front. Keep still down there, you little ones. It's discipline that wins wars. Right turn. Quick mark. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Swing those arms. Oh, God, bring destruction to our enemies. Make these young ones true soldiers of the law. Guide Mr. Churchill's hand in the cunning of war. Let our righteous shells smite down the Messerschmitts and the Fokker. Lord, send troublesome dreams to Herr Hitler. Let him not sleep the sleep of the innocent. And comfort our warriors at the front. Brighten their swords and burnish their bullets with your fire. We beseech thee, O Lord, to have mercy on these thy children. We dedicate our studies this day to the war effort. Amen. Hymn number 504. Fight the good fight with all thy might. What are all the pink bits? Rowan. The Osmonds. Yes. The British Empire. Harper. What fraction of the Earth's surface is British? Don't know, miss. Anyone? Jennifer Baker. Two fifths, miss. Yes, two fifths. Hours. That's what this war is all about. Men are fighting and dying to save all the pink bits for you, ungrateful little twerps. Page 17, the British Empire. Books away, scramble! Times table. One nine is nine. Two nines are eighteen. Three nines are twenty-seven. Four nines are thirty-six. Five nines are forty-five. Six nines are fifty-four. Seven nines are sixty-three. Eight nines are seventy-two. Nine nines are eighty-one.
What's it for? When the German planes fly in at night, they can't see the cables. I hope it stays in the whole of the war. Talk. Live ammunition. 303. Bring him here. Talk or else? Talk. Talk. Yeah, talk. 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 The Germans are dropping men on the bomb sites. Who told you that? Uh, my uncle's in the war office. He said, don't go on the bomb sites. Boys are going missing all the time. They're not. Are they? If you find them hiding, they'll cut your throat. What, they? No, they don't. They have to, or they'll get found out. I wish one would come through the door right now. Join our gang. Don't mind. Do you know any swear words? Yes. Say them. Go on. Say them. You can't join if you can't swear. Uh, I only know one. <laughs> <laughs> well, say that one then. Go on. Fuck. <gasps> <gasps> That word is special. That word is only used for something really important. Now repeat after me. Bugger off. Bugger off. Sod. Sod. Bloody. Bloody. Now put them all together. Bugger off, you bloody sod. Bugger off, you bloody sod. OK, you're in. Yeah. Let's smash things up.
Get your things. Balaclava. Can't we just see the end? They got the real thing outside. It's not the same. A dog fight. You can't see what's happening. What's all this in? Pilot. Go again. Now, watch it. That's it. Get up. Behind your boy. Russell Sprouts. Hey. again. Well, don't stop. Keep going. Nobody's going to see that far up. Don't be so sure. When I jitterbug... <laughs> For you. A bit too quick. Well, now we can do it slow. <laughs> Are those some kind of new stockings you're wearing? They might be. I mean, no garters. They just kind of uh, disappear up your ass. <laughs> hey, stop it! Help oh, oh, me, guys! This girl! Action. I don't know how. I can't. I can't do it. Use the googly, like I showed you.
collection. That's Canadian. Where'd you get it? None of your business. Have you been up to? Come on. I'm not going to that shelter. Soon die. Dawn, come down here at once. Wait, come on. to play. Ask her yourself. No, you ask her. You're a girl. Pauline? Pauline? Do you want some shrapnel? No. Do you want to play? Girls, wait. Terry! Pauline's mum got killed last night! She never. She did too. We can ask her. Come on, lovey. You can't stay here all day. I live here. I live here. Of course you do. Come on now. Oh. Come on. Oh. Mum? Mum? The other thing. Oh, <laughs> mummy, mummy. <laughs> Soon have this lot sorted out, Billy boy. Mummy, mummy, Pauline's mummy got killed. I mean, the East End's been burning for three nights and sendries down there. 
Count your blessings, Grace. Oh, I do, Molly, I do. Hold it up. Do you know what they're doing now? It's Bill not been hit, Mrs Evans. Touchwood. We had a near miss the other night. Dropping diseased rats on the bomb sites. Ah, Billy found this tiny little parachute. So that's what it was for. It's the piano. Oh, Grace, it's covered in dust. Let's have a listen. Play something, Grace. Recognise that dog? When they begin, the beginning. We never used to sing so much before the war, did we? Not in the daytime, anyway. Of music so tender, it brings back a night of tropical splendor. Dawn's come on fast. That's the war for you. It quick, quick, back quick. A memory evergreen. Didn't I see you with a soldier door? Just doing my bit for the war effort. I won't have this bugger talk in my house. It's only a joke, Mummy. I'm 15, I'm still at school. I want to be a nun when I grow up. <laughs> Come on, Grace. Give us a few bars of old Fred. <laughs> Come on, Mummy. No. I'll give you something. What? Let go. Mm -hmm. Right then, line up. Yay! On the board. Better than 
that. It's in your pants. <laughs> oh, come on then, it won't bite. <laughs> Pack it in. It's time to smash things up. if you really do love him. <laughs> Don't kill love. You'll regret it for the rest of your life. <laughs> Who said anything about love? Sweet, 
Hey, man. I'm on the bike. Mom! Hey, man. Mom! Mom! Oh, Mom! Mom! I'm going to 36, huh? Oh. <laughs> Hand me my backpack, bro. Jam, I know. German jam. <laughs> it's German jam. <laughs> but it's all right. Came from a German ship. Got sunk. This stuff washed ashore. Great to be. Jam. Our boys found it on the beach by the rifle range. We don't know anything about it. Well, it's off ration. We know that. Well, how do we know they didn't plant it there? They know we are mad on jam. They could poison half the country. Away, kid. I don't want you standing too close while he's opening. Come here, Susie. Well? It looks foreign. Jam is jam! It's just jam! Well, I'm not having any, even if it's not poisoned. I don't think it's right. It's not patriotic. You don't like jam. You never eat jam. You hate jam. That's not the point. Taste it. Why don't you taste it? You taste it. Some, Dad. <laughs> That's it. Come on. You mean they let you go through the officer's training course and then said you were too old for a commission? That's it. Why didn't they say that before you started? I wasn't too old when I started the course. I was too old when I finished it. What are you going to be, then? A clerk. I'm doing a typing course. I shall be typing for England. Poor Clive. And you, you wanted it so much. <laughs> You're such a baby. It's nice jam. It's nearly as nice as English jam. You know what I always say? Jam is jam the world over. <laughs> Hello, Bruce. Hi. Bruce, this is my father. Dad, this is Corporal Bruce Carey. Private Rowan. Boots, look. Dad got some German jam. We thought it was poison. Until Christmas, I don't suppose. Oh, I'm glad you didn't send up to your aunt. Hello! Welcome home, Pat! Hello, darling. You look marvellous. Oh, Clive. Hello, my old boy. Good to gone. see you. Look what Mole's got! <laughs> Tears been my bedtime. Dad, what a lovely come surprise. to the bomb site now, you darling. promised. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Billy. What kind of war is this, Mac? Dad! Up here! Out there in Cumberland, we never see an air raid. The worst problem I have is getting a new typewriter ribbon. 
When I rode in against the Turks, I knew what it was about. Did you? You thought you did. We've been gypped all our lives, Smiler. Take your street. What about it? Rose Hill Avenue. No roses, no bloody hill, and it's certainly not an avenue, is it? <laughs> Why not? Well, you need trees for an avenue. Now, what's talk of planting some when we first came? Uh, propaganda. We've been had. How's your war, Mac? Never done better. On the fiddle, same as everyone else. Except for service, but... Naturally. I don't understand. Is there no point to any of it? Oh, there is, all right. This Hitler fellow. We've got to winkle him out. Get shot at some of our lot at the same time. Look how wild that boy's got. As for Dawn, 16, going around with a soldier. <laughs> Keep an eye on them for me, Mac, will you? There's a pal. I made a mess of it all. <laughs> Such a bloody fool. It was worse, Smile. Steady the buffs. Back of the buffs. Yeah, it's lost stability. What is it? It's a rogue I suppose they're still learning. That's why they keep moving about. It's easy. I've done it. Who with? Paulie. Liar. Mummy keeps still and Daddy moves on top of her. That's what they do when they know how. That was so married. Married? You didn't feel the house rock. You must have seen all those shell bursts. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get married. We can live in Montreal. I could teach you French. The dame to Don't get smoochy. You spoil it. 
We had a week, a whole wonderful week. The most wonderful honeymoon any couple ever had. I love you so much. Goodbye, my darling. Promise you will be careful. Chin up, there's a break. If anything should happen to you, I... All this scrimping and squalor. I don't mind it. It was harder before the war. Trying to keep up appearances. Now, well, it's patriotic to be poor. Well, I'm looking for something with a little oomph. Don't you like it? What's wrong? I don't know how you cope. Three kids, army pay, on your own. You know something, Molly? I like it on my own. It's true. I never got used to sharing my bed. Not really. Oh, I love a man in bed. The smell of him. The hairiness rubbing against you. Oh, the weight of him. And then when they do it to you in the middle of the night and you're not sure if you're dreaming or if it's really happening to you. Oh, that's the best. No guilty feelings. Not that I should have any wide awake. Molly! Well, I'm not talking about Mac. He hasn't touched me for ages and not often ever. Nah. My life started when he went on night work. <laughs> You're having me on, Molly. Am I? This one is nice. Look at the colour. Sorry. Oh, that's nice. I saw it first. Give it to me. <laughs> it's not fair. It's not fair. This one looks really good. I love pink. You're not developed enough for this one. <laughs> well, I am. <laughs> oh, look. Oh. Take it to the proms. That's right. Not since then. Not since I got married. Shine more brightly than, than it does now. Your eyes don't close. No, no fortitude. No sacrifice. No, no sympathy. No neighborly kindness. May God bless you every one. Oh. Oh. He was a lot better this year. You say that every year, Dad. The land and the king are one, my son. If he stutters, we falter. He's getting better. So are we. <laughs> <laughs>
furious. It was God save the king. and I will not permit such behaviour here. Little Sarah, what's it was? There was spirit and Marjorie Anderson. That's enough now. Sit down! And, and Henry Chapman's girl. Was it Thelma? No. I can see those cornflower eyes. I've lost your name, my sweet. Oh, sweet. Listen to this nonsense every year. You're drunk, Dada. Sit down. Betty Browning. Betty, let me tell you something. I'm 73 years old. I've seen half the wonders of the world. And I've never laid eyes on a finer sight than the curve of Betty Browning's breasts. <laughs> <laughs> My girls, dead you may be, or old and withered. But while I live, I will do you honor to the last. Bless all of you. Bless all of you. <laughs> oh, she's a grandpa. What's that? What's that? Henry Chapman's daughter. It was Sheila I meant from last year. Hey, so it was. Sheila. Hey, this spy will go far. Hey, hey Sheila. <laughs> Something's wrong. What is it? We're not supposed to say, but we're being shipped out tomorrow. Where? I don't know. You do. You're just not saying. I swear I don't know. Here's your Christmas present. You expect me to spend the rest of the war sitting at home, staring at a ring? And you'll meet some French girl who speaks your own language. Well, no, thank you. Please yourself. Was it from Bruce? What did he say? He said I was right. I shouldn't wait for him. 
It was better to make a clean break. Probably very sensible under the circumstances. Well, now he's gone and made me fall in love with him, which I never wanted to do. I told him that. Shelling France. 25 mile range they've got. Wow. Send a few over every day just to remind them we're still here. Each shell costs the price of a Ford 8. Who pays for them? We will. You will. Rest of our lives. Remember this beach, Matt? All those times. Two families together. Happy days, Grace. Now there's just the two of us. Thanks for today, Matt. When you get a bit bigger, Billy, I'm going to teach you the googling. Thanks. <laughs> Uncle Mac. Mac, did you ever find out who Molly went off with? Ran off with a Polish pilot. Sounds like one of those bad jokes on the wireless. <laughs> You miss her. Well, I know I do. She said, I know you love me, babe. But you never loved me enough. <laughs> Not loving enough. It's a terrible thing to do to someone. I suppose I did it to Clive. I always held something back. <coughs> All better left unsaid, Chris. You were never apart, you and Clive. He kept asking and asking. I kept waiting and waiting for you to say something. But you never did. Clive had a job. I didn't. I couldn't. did the decent thing, Grace. This war has put an end to decent things. We can't change what's past. Not even the war could do that. Oh, we did the proper thing, but we lost love. And that's sad, Maggie. time as well, you know. Where are my 
shrapnel melt? I shouldn't think so. I just wish I'd worn my nylons. <gasps> my ration books are in there! Grace! Oh. No, Grace! Yeah, just a minute. Get out of my way! I want my ration oh, books! Lose you as well. Here, Grace, take two. Come on. Oh. Have you got somewhere to go? It's all right. She's with me. Good. She doesn't look too bad. All my little soldiers are melted. each other. I don't care about the house. I just hate all these people watching us. Be nice. Different world, eh, Billy? Not 20 miles from Piccadilly. Catch the line. Move it in. Tired up now. Are you strong enough for another shot? You're going to be a grandma. It's only a house, and a ghastly one at that. We should all be burned and bombed and the builder hanged. What did I do to deserve this? You married that fool Clive, that's what. Never mind, never mind. You can stay with us. How long? Three and a half months. As long as that. Oh, all right, why not? It's nearly summer, let the nippers run wild. Huh? Bless you, Mac. What would I have done without you? You might still have a house. I wish it all could have been different. It's OK, Grace.
Push off. Jump in. Well done, Billy. All I have left in the world is in this little boat. Can I have a try? Hmm. Put your hand on mine. Get the neck of it. I shall teach you the ways of the river. Another year in that awful suburb and you'd have been past saving. Look! They're coming this way. The future on the march. I curse you. Vote. What? And I'm... take to get the new ration books, Grace, dear? About six weeks, I think. How are we going to cope? Nettle soup, like we did in the Great War. Very nourishing. Bill and I will catch fish, river fowl will laying eggs soon. We'll hunt, we'll forage, we'll overcome. And what about tea and sugar, clever Dick? Keep still. Nobody move. I'll go fetch my gun. Hmm? Him, Grandpa. Huh? He was limping when he ran off. lanterns like fireflies. Up, two, three. Throw the pole forward. Let it slide through your fingers. Don't push until it hits the bottom. And a gramophone going on one of the boats. Always the Charleston. 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 Ding, ding, ding. Charleston. <laughs> oh, you girls. What a lovely... Mm. Now, check that spinner. No luck. 
Grandpa. Up, two, three. Now you have a go, lad. Put your might and main behind it. Hold it steady. Now down with it. That's it. Now push. Sit up. Two, three, four. It's getting better. Mm -hmm. Let it slide through your fingers, lad. Let it slide. Oh. Up, two, three. Come on now. Let it slide through your fingers. That's it. Now push, push. It's that, Grandpa. Oh, pull it out, lad. Pull it out. <laughs> Pull it out, lad. Let it go. Let it go. Hey, push. Hang on. Now there's a lesson for life. Never give up the punt for the pole. my pet. All men are beasts, darling. That's what I like about them. Mm -hmm. Say hello to your dada. Hello, dada. Charity. Hello, dada. Oh, afternoon, Faith. Uh, no hens and no cocks. Too many women in our family. They're a different species from us, though. They mean love them. Oh, yes, love them, but don't try to understand them. That road leads to ruin. You said we could have a game of cricket. So I did. You look frustrated, Faithy. That husband of yours still can't rise to the occasion. He's a menace. He ought to be locked up. <laughs> Don't let him get his claws at Billy Grace. I won't have the husbands here. All four girls married duds, including your mother. They'll tame you if they can, cage you and feed you tidbits. Wow. Back that back first. Come along, my dears. Tea's ready. Oh. Middle and leg. Yes. That was a googly. I know. You're a dark horse bowling googlies at your age. Toss me up another. No, Grandpa. You're out. It's my turn. Thousand. <laughs> Ready?
too. Ah! Oh. 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 You want to know why they're called Faith, Hope, Grace and Charity? Six. Why? Your grandmother, she named them after the virtues I like. That's marriage for you. Eight. Eight? Yeah. Damned impossible, lad. Mommy, can I have the yellow cake? Yes, darling. <laughs> Whatever you like, my darling. It's so wonderful to have you all. It's part of the thing The fish. fish. You got some eggs, Grandpa. Never mind the eggs. Catch some fish. Be off with you. And don't come back empty handed. There's no supper. Bring that 
Can you over here? Keep going, Billy. Stick to this bank. Come on! Will you give me a chance to explain? <laughs> faster, Billy, faster! I want AWOL to be with you. I hate you! Bruce! 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 Bruce, what have I done? Nobody can hold their breath that long. Grandfather, I smile. And I'm still just a lad myself. Well, don't bother the grub. It's no fun at all. Uh, I believe Elsie Drinkwater's buried here. That shallop. come up with and they hated me for making them learn and now we're glad you did <laughs> well, here's to music and absent friends and absent bridegroom and the bride the bride and wait for it here's to my CEO his wank would be a posting close to home he said your house burns down, your daughter gets married, you're always away in compassionate leave. Pack up your typewriter, fight the bloody war down there! <laughs> <laughs> Clive, I found this little bungalow to rent down the towpath. I never want to leave the river again. The children <gasps> had such a wonderful summer. Fair enough. The river. The river! The river. <laughs> And loyal friends. And good and faithful wives. We hope and trust. And grumpy grandfathers. Since you are shortly to join our ranks, I throw down the gauntlet. A cricket match. You and Mac against Bill and me. On. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh. You know, Matt played for Surrey seconds, and I opened for the Indian Army. Oh, we've heard that a thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> 
class will tell. It's an olive branch. Take it. It's the best he can do. Come on. <laughs> We're putting you into oh, bat first. I was Mr. Carter wrong. No, it was me. No, it was me. Why, it was you. She's not feeling too good. <laughs> oh, oh. oh Fine delivery, Billy. It's a good lift. Turned a bit, too. You make a good player. Give him the you know what. All right, Grandpa. There was a googly. A googly? You didn't spot it, Clive. I taught him how. And now he turns it against me. The law of life. Cruel, isn't it? <laughs> you wicked old cat. Well done, Luke. Oh. I'm proud of you. Clive! Quickly, Clive! What's up? Clive! All right, all right, we're coming. No Clive! <laughs> what is it? Clive, I'm the doctor. You will? Not me, you don't. <laughs> She's in lane. Hot water. Lots of hot water. What for? I don't know. They all say that in the pictures. She hurry into the toilet and have to clean. Oh. 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 Breathe deep. Oh. Oh. It's coming on its own. Oh. Oh. little tripound. I'm the one who should be fed up, sacrificing my last sup of black market petrol to take you to school. We've got a little roast lamb in you as well. Only till he get you into the local school. With Mrs. Evans, I hate her. You'll be home for the weekends. Now shut up or walk. Great strapping fellows playing silly buggers with a war on. Outrageous! <laughs> All you do is knock the sense out of them and... And, and, and fill them up with muck!
my life, nothing ever quite matched the perfect joy of that moment. My school lay in ruins, the river beckoned with the promise of stolen days.